Hi. In today's session, we're going to talk about how to drop a database artifact from HDA container. Dropping off a database artifact is usually done as part of a deployment process. You cannot go to the database runtime and perform drop table option on the database object. For example, if I wanted to drop a table called the target and just try to run the deep drop table syntax here, it's not going to perform the drop. It's going to give an authorization error and I may not be able to perform the drop. So for this, we have to perform undeployment of object to remove this from database artifact. So I've already explained this topic in when one of my previous session. Uh, you can navigate to this link. I'm gonna attach this link anyway to this session. So it's a good reference for you to understand before. So this session talks about how to undeploy a database object from HDA container. Uh, there are a couple of options by writing auto undeploy script to your package JSON or adding undeploy.json file and refer or mention your design time artifacts in there to, um, to remove that from the database. In a situation where you cannot use these two options to perform the undeployment, uh, there's a, another way to delete the object from runtime provided if that particular design time artifact was already removed from your project. This is not a best practice to do because we don't want any database uh, objects lying without having associated design time artifacts from the project. It is done through the dynamic SQL. So we're going to call a stored procedure which contains the dynamic SQL to perform the drop. Let's take a look at how it is done in the system. So I've got a couple of tables I'm going to I wanted to delete the the target invoice target table from the database artifact. Let's go and try this from database explorer. We already tried this one. This is not going to remove it. it gives another issue error. So what I'm I'm going to delete this object using a store procedure that can call the dynamic SQL to perform the drop. So how that it can be done? Let's take a look. Yeah. So I'm going to create the design time artifact for the for that. So I'll come to my project and add a stored procedure there, add new file, and then give the name of the file saying undeploy dot HDB procedure. We'll just keep some um, simple code in here. We're just gonna get my uh, snippet from the Git. I'm gonna attach this link anyway. Let's take the stored procedure. It's not containing any fancy code. I just I can explain this. Just contain the procedure name. Uh, it's a definer mode. And it is a dynamic SQL to run the execute immediate uh, drop table syntax. And I'm going to input the, the table name. It could be anything. If if not table, it could be any other database artifact, it could be procedure function or any of them. Just if those cases, instead of table, I'm going to write function or procedure or any of the uh, artifact name. I'm going to save it, file, save, and then deploy this procedure. My procedure is being uh, deployed into HANA Cloud. So I can run this stored procedure in runtime now. If I'm running as a HDA container user, so I shouldn't be grind. I shouldn't require any grants to uh, get the access on this stored procedure for that user. But in case if I'm running the or executing this stored procedure as a database user or any other user, I may have to provide the uh, necessary access or grants on the container uh, stored procedure to those users. So I'm going to run the, the stored procedure using my container user login, so which is, which doesn't require any grants to be performed before that. So I'll access my container. This is my local container. Um, now I'm going to run the stored procedure here. I'm just going to give a call. And then procedure name, I can grab it from here. Procedure and deploy. So you can, even I can just um, generate a call statement from here. So it's going to run uh, call the procedure name and the parameter I need to give. My parameter name will be, um, that's the table name, INV target. Let me confirm that by going in 
the table name is vendor invoice target. So I'm just going to add vendor to that. Save. Okay, that's it. I'm going to run this procedure um, in the container login. I'm done. Now, if you go to the tables and then check, you don't see the um, the, uh, the invoice target table in, in, in the container. So it's not, as I said, it's not a best way to perform the drop. You always do this as part of a deployment so that you uh, you have consistency between your design time with the runtime. Uh, but in, in exceptional cases where you wanted to uh, delete or remove some of the objects that do not contain uh, a design time artifact or some of the objects directly created in HDA container, you wanted to remove them. Uh, this is the way you can do by uh, creating a um, um, store process that contains the dynamic SQL to perform the drop. That's it for this session. We'll meet in another session with a different topic. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.